today we launched uh, the campaign uh, uh, for Minitivet, uh, Skills for Life. Uh, we all know that uh, there is an increasing number of young people uh, who are unemployed and we also have uh, uh, many people who are struggling to get certifica certification uh, in skills uh, that they, uh, they, they, they possess. So today is very significant uh, because uh, one of our agenda is to revitalize education. And in revitalizing education, we are looking at the skills capacity uh, that are available within our young people so that we can use that as opportunities uh, for them to contribute to, to the wealth creation uh, for Turkana. We have uh, 18 TVETs, not 18, 8 TVETs. Uh, six uh, were credit, two of them uh, were credited uh, recently, and that is Kataboy, uh, uh, which is Lexon, and uh, one in uh, uh, and Lokchogo, uh, which is just the newly created sub county. The position of those tivets uh, are organized to tap into the great potential that exists in Turkana. Color call. Uh, Vocational Training Center and Kataboy uh, are well positioned to tap into the blue economy uh, in trying to making sure that uh, young people uh, within the lake or the riparian communities also benefit. Um, the one in uh, Kaling and part of North, um, uh, those are pastoralist uh, areas, so we're looking at into uh, increasing capacity for skills on livestock uh, production and care. Then we also have the one in Turkana South and uh, Turkana East. Uh, those are potential areas for food production. And then within uh, Kakuma and Lokchogyo, we are tapping into uh, the, pas the nationalities that are within uh, Kakuma and also as part of an integration program between the uh, local youth uh, and uh, the refugees, uh, refugee community, that is a refugee and was community together. All the work about uh, revitalizing education cannot really be possible without uh, the work of development partners who are taking uh, part in various uh, technical areas. 